Now, what this project should actually uh, do is uh, this uh, gives you three features, right? First is uh, the home monitoring system. So we have a temperature sensor over here. That temperature sensor value can be remotely checked with a ThinkSpeak channel. Okay, so this is the first feature. So you got a sensor whose value can be seen as a graph remotely. Right. Now the second feature is the alarm system. The temperature sensor whenever the temperature exceeds uh, 40 degrees centigrade generates a notification to your uh, uh, Gmail account and also locally. Okay, So you can take appropriate decision. You can further forward that mail into uh, fire brigade uh, Gmail ID and so and so so and so. Right. So this is what the uh, home monitoring system does. Both monitoring as well as the alarm system. Then we have the lighting and fan control system. So these are the common part of the. Now, when you keep the, uh, when you sit in front of the system because your face is still undetected, it doesn't show anything, right? So initially, we need to uh, register this with your face. So, and we are going to first give at face, and it also requires an administrative password. So you are going to give an administrative password and we'll say authenticate. Now your face has been added and it's going to show that you are in the frame. So once it detects you, it supports the locking and unlocking system. Right? Now, uh, before you can use any home control system, what you should do is you should add your Arduino port. So uh, for Arduino will be connected with the PC using a virtual port. Every PC will have a different port, but the software should so show which port it is connected with. It will now you should start monitoring the temperature value and it's going to show that temperature value in a graph format, right? This will also be available remotely in a ThinkSpeak channel. So if you click on the ThinkSpeak channel, you'll be able to see the graph in real time. So whatever graph you are seeing over there, that graph will be seen. And it will be perfectly in sync with the software that you are running, okay? Whatever temperature value that you are going to see over here, the te same temperature value will be visible in your .NET software. Now, this has got a notification system. Now, say for example, if I just take a candlestick. So, if I take a candlestick and keep it closer, so the temperature crosses. see a message being generated that temperature has crossed over 40 degrees centigrade and if the uh, fire uh, is down then automatically that notification will be closed not only that it should immediately send you a mail in your gmail account let me show you and uh, you are going to receive the mail from uh, you're going to receive the mail from my mail account uh, you got a mail called fire at home uh, it's going to give you the timing, whole timing, at what time the fire has gotten into the home, okay? So, so if my face is unrecognizable, it's going to give a message called unknown, okay? Uh, so, if I am unknown person and I am trying to unlock the home, okay? Unauthorized attempt. Uh, it's going to give a voice message that somebody unauthorized is trying to open the door. Not only that, what it's going to do is, it's going to also generate a Gmail message by adding the photo of the unauthorized person, okay? Now, it's also going to generate a Gmail message called unauthorized person and it's going to give the time and whoever was in front of the door, okay? So, if somebody tries to break in, not only it is going to generate an alarm, okay, voice alarm, but at the same time, it will capture his photograph which you can give it to police in case that, uh, which you can give it to police in case there is a burglary or any other stuff. The application your, oh, is okay. going to uh, do right now is once you are connected, you can actually control everything. Uh, MQTT protocol does is it's a publish subscribe based protocol. Okay, you can publish a message from anywhere that will be asynchronously pushed to the server. Okay, we have written a .NET client from which we can receive the message and then can take the appropriate decision. Now, how our project runs is our project is a combination of hardware and software.
फाइव जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस स्पेसिफिक बटन द लॉकिंग एंड अनलॉकिंग विल टेक नो द मेजर कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इज दिस इज अल ई डी लाइट एरे ओके एल ई डी लाइट एरे विच वी यूज इन समथिंग कॉल द the emergency lamps right uh, this is 27 volt watt so it requires a battery connection for driving it uh, we are using a 12 volt 4.5 amps battery over here to drive this led right uh, we have a fan module over here it's basically a cpu fan that you get to see in the laptop right uh, we have one gear motor for synthesizing opening and closing of the gate we have a temperature sensor lm35 and one buzzer okay and we have a set of relays four re relays to be specific now 